Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to use arbitrary values in Tailwind CSS. This is how you can escape from Tailwind's design system if you need to, if there's something very specific that you need to do, some particular positioning based on a pixel size, um, or maybe you wanna use some CSS that's that's just uh, the latest and greatest and isn't in Tailwind as yet. Um, so a couple of reasons there, but yeah, to escape from Tailwind, what we need to do is use square brackets and then we can pretty much type um, whatever CSS we like. So let's take the first example up here, um, the height of screen. So H screen in uh, Tailwind, if we look at our generated Tailwind here, uh, for H screen, you can see it's uh, using viewport height. Now, what if I wanted to use, say, dynamic viewport height? Well, that's not in Tailwind at the moment, um, but we could simply get rid of screen here, uh, put the square brackets and say 100 dynamic view height. Uh, and if I save that off, it will get uh, placed into our generated Tailwind here. And you can see we're using uh, 100 dynamic view height, therefore, uh, this guy here. So it's allowed us to type that in there and still use it. If we look at the page here, uh, we can see that that's still working. And dynamic view height would work possibly better on a mobile phone uh, in that it's used. Um, it's dynamic. It changes depending on what chroma is available. Um, so yeah, you might want to be able to use that. And at the moment, you can't, there's no specific utility class for it in Tailwind. Um, and so say you wanted a particular color as well that wasn't in the design system. So at the moment, we've got background red 600 here. What about if we wanted to do something like that color there? And if I come in here and refresh, we can see it's now picking up this specific color. And if we look down in our generated tailwind. Where is it? Oh yeah, so it's this guy here. So it's literally creating a new utility class for us and hard coding it to that value. So these squared brackets are what we need to add in in order to um, to escape from Tailwind. So you can you can still use uh, media queries in here as well. So say we wanted that background only on a large enough. And if I save that one off, we should see a media query for that down here. There it is, um, yep, within this media query here. So if I come into here now, do a refresh. So yeah, when we're small, that's not applying. But when we get to the large screen size, it is applying. So you can escape and use specific uh, values that are not in the design system, but you can then, you can still use that within the Tailwind system, certainly within the um, uh, media breakpoints here, like large and small, etc. Um, so say for border as well, again, the design system has some specific values there, but if we wanted to go in and just do 5px, we could do that quite simply there. That fresh, in fact, well, let's show it going very large, 50px. And you can see we, we're now getting that in there again. So this um, square bracket can be used pretty much anywhere. Um, so border dashed, that's fine. All of those are, are already in there. We can't do that. Um, but again, the border color here, we could change that. We could put a specific value in here. Um, like so if I come in, give it a refresh, we can see it's updated there. So square brackets are what you need to escape in, in a small amount from um, from Tailwind's design system. Uh, there you go. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.